The Best Trans Ever, Part 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Romans 12 and verse 2. We can go back to the beginning. Matter of fact, that's what the book of Genesis means in the beginning. And we can come across Satan at his best, deceiving both Adam and Eve. The deception is still true today. When we look at all the hate that is going on, all the talk about trans this and trans that, let's talk about transitioning, living for our creator. We know that in the book of Romans, what happens is people, they begin to worship the created things instead of the creator. This time I wanna look at the 12th chapter of the book of Romans. Marks of a true Christian. Verse number nine. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Now, yes, we want to hate what is evil. We don't want to hate on people. We want to love the person and hate the sin. And I guarantee you, if we do things the way that Jesus wants us to do, his plan will work. Verse number 10, be devoted to one another in love, honor one another above yourself. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. In the first video, we talked about the funnel and how it's smaller at one end and it's wider at the other one. We usually tend to pour in to the wide end and it gets narrow. Let me encourage you to look at that in the reverse. That as we who have God's word, those of us who have God's word and believe in God's word, we want to practice God's word and we see that that funnel will open up going to heaven. And not only that, that God will pour into our lives, that our cup will run over. And as our cups run over, we will be able to be a blessing to others. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. With all the things that are going on, are we being faithful in prayer? Faithful in prayer. I mean, when we see those things going on in the world, are we being fervent? Are we being faithful in prayer, praying for the lost souls, praying for those people's children who are hurting? I don't care if they're adults and if they're in their 40s or 50s or 60s, they're still somebody's children. Most importantly, they're a child of God. They might not have been able to follow the plan of salvation, but we were all sinners before we came to Jesus. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Yes, they're going to hurl stones. They're going to hurl stones at us by saying hateful things because we believe. But I once heard this. It's better to take a stoning than to get into a rock fight. Sure, there's gonna be persecution, but still, we are to bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. That's a lot deeper than what we really allow ourselves to think. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, 
but be willing to associate with people of low position. Don't be conceited. Be willing to associate with people of low position. What's the lowest that a person can go? The lowest that a person can go is being lost inside of this sin-sick world. Once again, we were in a low position before we made that decision to follow Christ. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. We can live at peace when we see the world going crazy. When people are arguing and fighting back and forth for this right and that right. And even though those rights conflict with the word of God, we can still have peace within so that we can be prayer warriors for those who are going through difficult times. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. Get this, on the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Romans 13 and 8 from the NIV. Let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to love one another. For whoever loves others have fulfilled the law. Have mercy have compassion when you see people who are in darkness trying to find their identity in man-made rules and traditions. People are coming up with different changes. We need to trust in God and his wisdom. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Go with God. Has anyone ever spoke with